everyone, Big Friendly Wargamer here, it is Christmas Eve, 24th of December. Um, I've got my latest set of 40k Conquest, um, which is early, but I assume because of Christmas they've sent it out early. Um, so they are issues 67, 68, 69 and 70. Um, I'm going to do my usual unboxing, uh, show you what's in them, show you through the magazines a little bit. Uh, I've got my camera, my tripod set up there, and I'm going to set my camera up and start shooting. Right, so we're going to start off with issue 67. This is the magazine itself. We've got five Spacer and Scouts for sniper rifles. Now, now these are quite old models. Um, I'll get them out of the bag. Bag go down there. Magazine can go there. So five bases as usual, 25 mil bases. They can all go there. And that's the sprue for the scout. So I'll give you a little bit of a zoom in. No, that's out in. There we go. So obviously you've got your, the camo cloaks. Uh, you've got the sniper rifles. You've got missile launcher in there. But you've got five scouts. It's Like I said, this is quite an old sprue. Um, these need updating. They're quite... They're, they're, they are old models. Um... Whether they'll update them or not, who knows? They might do at some point. And then we've got the magazine itself. So starting off, talking about company and chapter champions. That is an ultramarine looking one. But all all the all the space ring company uh, chapters have chapter champions, company champions. Um, going on to talk about the Emperor's Champion in specific which is the uh, Black Templars one um, and then talking about Sergeant Teleon who's an Ultramarine Scout Sergeant um, again not included in this but there you go and that is the model itself in, in better picture there um, they're talking about you know, forcing the Imperium, going talking about the Death Watchers, which are the they hunt the aliens of the galaxy sort of thing. And they're not one chapter, so like you in each squad you'll have multiple different um, chapters combined, as you can see here. You have to forgive me, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. So like in this squad, you've got Ultramarine, Imperial Fist, Dark Angel, Crimson Fists, and like that's a Space Wolf, I believe. That's a Raven Guard. That's a Salamander. So, yeah. They, and that's Iron Hands, I think. So, you get multiple um, chapters. Basically, uh, the chapters send specialists to actually work in the Death Watch. And that's their, their fly called the Corvus Black Star, which is quite a nice model. Um, a lot of people don't like it, but it's very, for me, it is very 40k. How to build your Space Ring Scouts. So, multi part um, pieces uh, and how to paint your Scouts. So, obviously, you're going to paint them as Ultra Rings. So, they're showing you how to do some camos, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think this is something that Games Workshop have done quite of quite recently. So, that's pretty good. And obviously, going through each one, uh, showing you how to paint each bits. Um, mission briefing is called Hunters in the Shadows and the actual um, mission itself is kill the leaders so then they'll obviously give you the um, data sheet for the scouts and that's it for that one right so on to issue 68 so in this one we've got more terrain So for me at the moment, terrain is quite a big thing because I've just got this uh, new Necromunda set, which is a lot of terrain in it. This would fit quite nicely in there. Uh, whether it gets used for it or not, I don't know. But this is a repeat of the, the Hematrope reaction you got uh, a few issues ago. It's, I think it's exactly the same. I don't think there's any difference. So I won't spend too much time on that. But issue 68 itself... 
um, talking about uh, the history of the Space Wolves. The Space Wolves are a chapter of Space Marines, obviously. Uh, it's quite, there's quite a couple of pages on that. Then talking about Iron Hand successor chapters. So they give you three specific ones there. There's another one, the Aurora chapter, I think they're called. No, Sons of Medusa. Um, and then there's one that's been declassified because probably turned traitor. And going on to talk about an army that I collect it's called the Harlequins. They are Elder, but they're very much a distinct race in the Elder itself. And they're kind of dressed like clowns. Like they're fighting clowns, basically, as you can see from the models here. Now, my army for this is quite small, and it's not, it's not going to get any bigger. It's going to stay as it is. And uh, they're not finished yet by any, any means. They're quite far off. We're going on to talk about Silver Templars. This is one of the uh, lieutenant characters that they've actually produced, uh, they made background for. Talking about his fourth company, his sword, which they've called Mercy. Um, again, this is Overkill. Uh, talking about how to build the Hematrope Reactor, which you got a few issues ago, exactly the same. And they're going on to paint it again. I don't know if this is a different paint scheme. It looks the same. Uh, it could, I could be wrong. It could be different. Yeah, I think it is different. Um, but this is a little bit of overkill. Doing this twice. But there you go. Um, mission briefing called Plasma Overload. And that sure itself is called Plasma Overload. It's basically you probably have to get to the... Um, Hematrope reactors and make them overload because that is the uh, the theme of the mission. Now, issue 69. At some point I should probably open these before I actually start doing the video, but there you go. Now this is uh, Death Guard Champion. Let's zoom in for you. So obviously you can zoom in quite far because it's quite a small model on one sprue. So Power Fist. And uh, if you look here, let's see if I can actually get him. That guy there. There we go. He's a sassy Nurgling in a Death Guard helmet. Um, which everyone is after. Everyone loves that model. I, I've got a... If you can see, I've got some... Nurglings here. Eventually, I'm going to make a Nurgling base and then probably buy some more Nurglings. Um, so I can have a small unit uh, to go with any demons that I'm going to decide to buy, which I probably will. Which actually is weird. They provided a 25mm base for that. Now that's wrong. But there you go. It should be on a 32mm. But oh well. I've got plenty of 32 more bases, so that's not a problem. Uh, so issue 69, talking about the Dark Angel successor chapters, uh, you've got the Angels of Redemption, Angels of Absolution, Angels of Vengeance and the Blades of Vengeance. Yep, I believe so. And then there's more on the other page. Uh, I'm not going to read through all of them. Um, basically, the, when the Legions broke down, they were broken down into successor chapters. So they they still owe, owe allegiance to the Dark Angels, but they are independent mostly. Uh, talking about Astra Militarum, which are the basic human fighting force in the galaxy. As you can see, there's quite a lot of uniforms because the galaxy is quite vast. So you get different uh, colours and stuff like that, different uniforms. The various Lehman Rust tanks. Uh, this is showing off some of the actual models. So you've got some Valkyries here. Uh, Lehman Russ is again. Uh, you've got Cadians, Cadian Banner Bearer, Captain uh, Colonel Einhans Strachan, who's a Cadian. Uh, again, that's another Cadian, and that's another Cadian as well. So these these guys are all Cadians, I believe. Um, these are Kachan Jungle Fires, and these are the Scions, uh, who are like the elite Imperial Guard. Um, talking about the Indominus Crusade, which is the crusade from when uh, Gulliman 
managed to reach Terra and brought the Primaris Space Marines into existence. Well, into existence that the galaxy knows of. Um, and talking about Demons of Nurgle, this specific one is called Epidemus. Um, so that's the model of him there. I, I don't know a lot about him, to be honest. I know he, he's a Demon of Nurgle, that's about it. So Legacy of Secrecy is some history on the Dark Angels. Dark Angels are very clouded and they, they don't like to um, mix with outsiders, that sort of thing. Um, the Plague Green Champion, so obviously like that's a 32 mil base. So they got my base wrong, but that's fine. Um, how to build him. Now with mine, the Nurgling won't go on the base. He's going to be safe for something else. Uh, detailed of how to build it, how to paint him and each time they're just going a little bit further with how to paint the uh, models so look a bit like that which uh, mine will look probably a bit different but that's fine um, the mission briefing is called patrol duty I believe and the actual mission itself is called outflank outflanked um, so yeah, it would be nice at some point to play through these missions. Um, I need to find someone willing. And then comes the good old paint, paint issue. Um, so this is issue 70. Right, so you've got Cadian Flesh Tone. Which I believe would be good that I've got that because I think I'm quite low on it. And uh, White Scar, which I'm pretty sure I've got a few of those. So, again, extra paints. You always need more paints, so there you go. Um, we're talking about Holy Terror, which is Earth, for Earth of the 41st millennium. Um, so, it's no longer called Earth. It's called Holy Terror. Um, I'm talking about the uh, domains of the Imperium, I think it is. So it's talking about life on Terror and the where the Emperor exists. He doesn't live. The Emperor's Palace. Um, talking about the hierarchy of the Imperium. So again, this is talking about factions. So you've got the Astra uh, uh, Astra Telepathica. The Navis Nobility and the Adeptus, uh, I can't even read that, even up, even the right way up I couldn't read that. And then Rogue Traders, Planetary Governors, Adeptus Ar Arbiters, which are the ba basic police, and the Officio Assassinorium, which is the Assassins. Um, talk, going back to talking about Space Rings, talking about Assault Squads, which is quite re relevant to me because I collect Blood Angels. Um, but all chapters have assault squads. Um, moving on to uh, Centurion assault squads, which are obviously not able to jump, but they are close combat dedicated troops. Um, so that's the Centurion war suits. And the, the Imperial Fist ones are specifically called Siege Breakers. Um, talking more about the history of the Space Wolves. And how to paint white scars. Now, painting white is quite a difficult colour to paint. That's why you've got white scar in there. Um, and they're showing you how to paint, how to use it on the Apothecary, how to use it on the Terminator Captain, on the Pox Walkers. Um, it's actually how to how to paint using white scar, not paint the white scar models. Uh, primary cap using it on the Primary Captain, the, the Chaos Terminator Lord, the Nurgle Terminator Lord, sorry. Um, and then how to use Cadian Flesh Tone. Uh, giving the Blight Lord Terminators and Pox Walkers as examples and then the Ultramarines obviously and the Cultists. Now the Cultists I don't haven't got in 40k Conquest, they've gone into my Black Legion army. Because I didn't see the point of Cultists in in uh, this when you can get Pox Walkers. So. Talking about how to make a Battle Forged army. Um, this is quite important in 40k because it allows you to use command points and stratagems um, 
so yeah this is this is quite worth reading even if you're experienced at 40k but not like mega experience this is quite a good read um, talks about how you create detachments of units so that's your basic patrol detachment it gives you no benefits um, you're the, the ones in red are the ones you have to take so you have to take a HQ you have to take a troop choice and then all the grayed out ones are the optional ones so you can take another another two troops up to two elites up to two fast attack uh, up to two heavy support and up to two uh, two flyers you can also take an additional HQ um, you can take transports for each model as well each uh, unit as well and as it says there all units must form must be from the same faction and you get no command benefits for it it's basically a way to have a cheap detachment a patrol detachment is um, so moving on to uh, how to make how to make pitch battles now this is quite good so it's showing you how to actually make armies now because um, all the missions that you've done up to this point give you set models that you have to use. Now this is telling you that you of how to build an army using whatever models you want to use, which is great. Um, so obviously they're showing off here. Um, obviously it's going to be stuff that they've got from 40k Conquest. Um, so you're not going to have like um, Space Marine suppressors or you're not going to have the... Um, big space marine tanks or anything in here um, now they have done this by power level so power level 40 um, and the death guard is 39 sometimes you can't get that odd power there isn't there is a point system as well but there, there's nothing in here in any of the conquest magazines which tell you the points for the um, models um, so you would have to buy like uh, the updated chapter approved for that um, and then the mission is all out war so it's it's pick your armies and have a big battle and that is it that is it for these four issues but I'll show you what's coming next uh, so you've got the other part of the uh, the cranes so it's a mechanical crane uh, so I've got bits of that which are sitting waiting to be built and then you've got two cow spawn which are cow spawn they are they are what they are so that is issues uh, 67, 68, 69 and 70 of 40k Conquest. Right, so that's finished my review of the magazines. I hope that's been useful to you. Um, obviously we're winding down with 40k Conquest magazines now. There's 10 issues left. Uh, I believe there's two lots of eight, uh, two lots of four and then there's a lot of two. Um, so March, I think, will, I believe will be finished or March or April. Uh, but that's fine. There's not a lot of Death Guard left, to be honest. It is mostly you've got the Repulsor coming up, which is a big Space Marine tank. Um, you've got a few other bits for Space Marines, but there's not a lot. I think there's a Taliban for Death Guard. You've got the Cow Spawn. And I think that's more or less it. I think that's it. So, yeah, I hope that's been useful to you. Um, if it has been, Please feel free to throw a like and give a subscribe. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know if it's been of any good to you. Um, I'll carry on doing this and then when when I hit the end, I'll do a review of the whole um, whole 80 issues. Um, I did get a binder with this, this set as well, but I didn't get the um, third quarter special thing, which I was actually looking forward to. Um, they didn't take the money out for it i haven't received it so whether i'll get it next time i don't know uh, which is the five incestors the lieutenant and a load of paints it works out really cheap so why not um but yeah thank you very much i will see you again for the next unboxing um i've been doing uh the blogs as well so have a look at them uh i'm going to try and put some more videos out of late um i haven't been uh i have a lot i've had a lot on um, once these 40k conquest uh, blogs are done it's going to convert to a generic wargaming uh, blog this is what I painted this week sort of thing so I will see you soon and have a good Christmas everyone bye bye